What's going on, everybody? Welcome to new hardware season. Every two years or so, the PC industry goes through this giant revolution where every major silicon manufacturer is coming out with new products. This really seems to energize the community and get people reinterested in a product segment that maybe was a little boring for the past year, year and a half. It also leads to a lot of new purchases as people are excited for the new hardware, they wanna try it out, and they also wanna see how it performs in their favorite games. Well, I'm here to tell you that right now, before the release of all this new hardware is actually the perfect storm for you to go out and buy a new gaming PC. Let's talk about it. Looking to grab a Windows 10 license at a crazy discount that you could upgrade to Windows 11? Head over to VIP SCD key at the links below and use promo code BPS25 at checkout to score a sweet deal on Windows 10, Windows 11, and Microsoft Office. Once you've completed your purchase, just head over to your user center, hit the green button to view your code, copy and paste it into your Windows activation settings, and away you go. Check out VIP SCD key at the links in the video description. I don't want to be too long-winded here, so let's just be as direct as possible. How does this sound to you? You have a gaming PC that you're playing at 4K, and you're playing Red Dead Redemption 2 at 90 frames per second, or Far Cry 5 at 105 frames per second. Or maybe you play at 1440p, and you're playing Borderlands 3 at 120 frames per second, or Forza at 180 frames per second. Does that sound good? Is that something that you guys would want from your gaming PC, the kind of performance that you are targeting? Well, if that's the case, those numbers come from a system with an RTX 3080 and an Intel i7-12700K. So not the top of the range GPU or CPU, and what is right now a fairly achievable system for a lot of people. This is really the crux of what I try to communicate with people. Just because something new comes out and it's shiny and it performs really well and everybody's talking about it, doesn't mean that you need it. It does not mean that the hardware that you have or were about to go out and buy is any worse. If you're able to get the performance from your system with the hardware that either you have or you were about to go and get, then be happy with it and enjoy that experience of gaming on a PC that really meets your needs. And when we have these converging product releases from AMD, Intel, and NVIDIA, and we see correspondingly the previous generation hardware start to significantly trend downward in price, this is actually the perfect storm for people to pick up a great gaming PC at a crazy bargain. And this is all without discussing the impact that crypto has on this space. Now, if you want to use GPU, that's probably a separate video that we can discuss. You're going to be able to go on eBay or Craigslist or Jawa and buy used graphics cards for extreme discounts. But they do come with the caveat that they were probably used pretty heavily over the past few years. The crypto crash also influences new graphics card prices, simply because the demand isn't there to retailers to supply crypto miners with these cards. So they have more inventory to sell to normal consumers. And as a result, the law of supply and demand, when they have too much supply, your price is going to go down. So let's take a quick look at some of those prices and see where we're at for new hardware right now, September, 2022. First, let's look at some CPUs. Now, it's no secret that we're about to see Zen 4 and the AMD Ryzen 7000 series released fairly soon, but that doesn't mean that the 5000 series is suddenly no good. Yes, it is the end of the line for the AM4 socket and future upgradability is limited at best, but that doesn't mean that a 5600X for $194 or a 5800X for $257, or a 5900X for $387 is going to be a poor performer. These are still extremely serviceable, extremely current processors that will serve you well for probably five plus years. 
These prices represent a significant discount over not only MSRP, but what the price trend has been for the past year or two. A 5900X is still a 12 core processor with 24 threads that you can now get for under $400. These chips were going for five, six, even $700 at launch as they were a super hot commodity. And their performance has not degraded over time. These are still high end chips that you can get your hands on now for cheap. Let's talk about GPUs. Low end GPUs like the 3060 are now way down. Even if you're not willing to look at used prices, a 3060 can be had for $370. Similarly, a 3070 for 519, a high-end RTX 3080, this is the For the Win 3 Ultra card, $749. And then an RTX 3090 for $1,000. This GPU was going for $2,000, $3,000 just a couple of months ago. Granted, right now, we don't know what the MSRPs of the next generation of graphics cards is going to be. We might see a card $4,000 that performs the same or maybe even better than an RTX 3090. However, the availability of those cards at launch is going to be extremely limited, and it's likely that we're not going to see them for probably a month or two months, especially the lower end NVIDIA cards tend to launch at the end of the product cycle. So we might not see an RTX 4060 until January or February. And if that's the case, Maybe it's worth it to go and pick up a RTX 3080 or 3070 for a significantly discounted price to have and to use for that entire time that will still perform really well for you. Let's take a look at some AMD graphics cards where the 6900 XT is only $700 right now. This is a card that outperforms an RTX 3080 and performs almost on par with an RTX 3090, especially when we're not talking about ray tracing. If we come down just a little bit to the 6700 XT, $449 is again a really solid price. Now you might be saying, what about other parts of my computer? Well, let's talk about memory. This is a chart of DDR4, 3200, and 3600, and their price trend since the beginning of 2021. You can see that prices are slowly coming down, whereas the beginning of 2021, a two by 16 gig kit of DDR4, 3200 was about $200, and now you can get one for $100, 40 130 dollars and similarly a ddr4 3600 kit has come down from 240 dollars to 160 dollars or if you want to be a little more future proof let's talk about ddr5 now this is obviously going to go into the intel 12th gen plus or the amd ryzen 7000 series plus and when DDR5 first came out, yes, it was spendy. A 2x16 gig DDR5 kit used to cost almost $400. But look at this price trend. You can now get that same kit for about $200 as the supply now meets and probably exceeds the demand. You're going to see a similar trend with DDR5 5600 coming down from almost $500 to now $240 or so. And look, I'm not trying to sit here and tell you guys that you need to run out and buy a PC right now, a month or two before the new products come out. That would be silly. But what I'm trying to say is that right now is not necessarily a bad time to do so. It actually, versus the past two years, is a really good time to do so. If you have a need for a new PC, if maybe your graphics card is on the way out, or you feel like you need to revamp your system, but you don't want to spend the money on all the next generation of products, this is actually the best time to go out and spend the money to get yourself some really deep discounts on hardware that is still very high performing. In the PC industry, you're never going to be sitting in a static period where you can't look six months into the future and say, well, I wonder what's coming out then. There's always going to be a GPU coming with a new memory configuration or a CPU with different cache or even the case that you want to buy maybe is going to get a refresh in four months and it's going to have a mesh front panel or something. That's, this is the way that this industry operates. You're always going to have iterations on previous products and you're never going to see an, a, a market that is completely static. If you want to wait, you will always be able to wait. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you should. If you have a need, you should fill it. And this is actually a really good time to do so.
So that's really what I wanted to talk about, guys. It is new hardware season. I am excited about it. I will be reviewing all the new stuff that's coming out. So make sure that you get subscribed if you like this kind of content. And happy gaming on whatever PC hardware that you happen to have or go out and buy. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.